So my experience is um, you, you definitely need a couple of different non-production environments before you go into production. Um, what I have found in my uh, exposure as a, a business uh, SME and different implementation projects is we had a development a QA environment, a UAT environment, and then production. And that seemed to work out best for us. Um, with the QA environment, we basically kind of changed the business in a way um, where it was basically a one and QA and UAT were in the same environment. And when we found that we segregated them, we got to see the migration of the code from development to QA to UAT to production to go a lot smoother. And we realized we were actually saving on problems going from one environment to another as we were doing the validations and testing of code and the migrations of code. Um, and it also kind of gave everyone a look into the environments to say, hey, um, if it wasn't re if they weren't refreshed at the same time, we found that there was some discrepancies as well. So we had to kind of run the environments to where they were refreshed at the same time, whether it be QA and UAT, they could not be refreshed at different times because it did affect how the migration of the code would work based on what we were doing. Um, so for me, from my best lesson or exposure to these environments is I think you need three non-production environments at a minimum to go into production. And one of the things that we also found at this organization I worked at is every week we did a refresh of production um, in addition to those other environments I was speaking of. So if there was an emergency concern that happened in the code, we had a quick way of doing a fix and we had a copy of production that was literally could be hours old or just a few days and versus all the other environments. And we basically found that that saved us a lot of headaches and concerns as well. Um, so we basically at this organization had like four different environments that we've worked in to make sure that all the code in production was, you know, code in production. We weren't, you know, trying to, as they say, don't test in production. <laughs> um, I'm not a big fan of moving anything or doing anything in production unless it's been fully vetted. Um, and I, again, I know that's very technical. I know that I'm speaking to that, but again, you wanna make sure that everything is to the best of its abilities in production and you're not affecting production. So that's just my exposure and my recommendations.